Hi guys, welcome to the video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing off the new Sturm uh, Exotic Catalyst, how I got it, and a very easy way to actually get your masterworks done. So this is the Sturm Masterwork. It increases the range and it increases the stability of the weapon. The weapon got a buff in the exotic buff when they've done the exotic weapon pass. So if you get a kill with a Sturm, it basically is a two-tap in Crucible. It charges the first shot. As you can see, this is me actually master working it using uh, the tail end of the method I'm going to be t telling you about. I used this method to master work quite a few weapons, including the Huckleberry. So it's the Huckleberry you'll see in the, the first part of the video uh, using the method. And then I'll show clips of me doing it with other weapons. So basically, what you do is you go to Mars <clears throat> and you go to the Futurescape area and activate the, the, the Escalation Protocol right here. Now what you kind of do is do a couple of passes over the thrall and get them all to gather. And once they've gathered, uh, just jump down uh, jump down onto the, the other area. As you can see, I've got them all coming after me. There's quite a lot there. Just jump down, jump down here. And the thrall, they, they kind of, they jump down after you. But as you can see, it's shooting fish in a barrel. I've used this method to master what quite a few weapons and I think in an hour I master worked four weapons using this method. Now you'll have two rotations of enemies. The first time you might have a wave of thrall and then as you can see you'll get a second big wave of thrall. And then the next time you'll get a big wave of thrall and then you'll get two shielded knights and some acolytes. Now the kind of way I done this was I I used it for quite a few weapons as you can see I used it for my uh, Graviton Lance I used it to do the Merciless. Very good farming method. Very good, easy way to get kills. Very easy way to get kills. And I I didn't really have too much of a problem getting this area to myself. And if you do, just fast travel back to the area. If you fast travel back to the area, you find that it, it, it took me about, I don't know, two or three attempts to get, to get the, to actually get this area to myself. And I think you get, so you get different amounts with different weapons, but it works out to be roughly 10, between 10 and 15% of your weapon done uh, using this, this, this method. So as you can see, this is the Merciless Masterwork that I got. Massively increases your range, massively increases uh, stability. This is the Risk Runner. The Risk, now... The kind of thing is you've got to get the, the kills and you've got to get the electrician, electricity kills. They actually, the thralls mainly are, are arc. So so these are the ma the masterworks I've got. I've got the Crimson. I've got this out in patrol. Quite a lot of people have got this this masterwork already. It's very good. It actually make, you know, it really does make the Crimson worth, worth using, especially for stuff like Escalation. To start with, that's all I used. The Huckleberry, it's not a weapon I really use, but the Huckleberry Catalyst drops from Heroic Adventures. I actually helped one of my clan mates finish one of the Osiris Heroic Adventures, and I dropped this on my first go. So, pretty lucky to get it. I'm glad I've got it. I want it. Obviously, we all want all the, the, the Catalysts. And the Huckleberry was really fun to use with that getting wit ammo back on kills. It was actually pretty, pretty fun to use. The Risk Runner increases it increases the range considerably i think i've been sleeping on this weapon having used it to in this farming method it really is if if I, for anything hive or any kind of uh fallen activity that i think that's going to be a very good weapon i've obviously got the polaris lance because i don't it's not a weapon i'm going to use that much i've done a lot more uh actually getting the catalyst done since i've done these recordings but uh that that it really works really well in that farming method tractor can i think a lot of people have got this get it out on patrol gives you another round or two in the magazine very good for escalation protocol and now especially with the the titans sentinel class getting a bit of a buff thanks to the doom the pauldrons then it might be worth using again <laughs> the darcy my one of my favorites uh, it was the first catalyst I got. Very easy. That one you probably wouldn't do in that farming method because you've got to get headshot kills. That's about the only one. 
This was one of the last ones I got. I got the Warcliffe Coil, which turns it, for any D1 faithful fans, turns the Warcliffe almost into the truth. If you fire at an enemy and there's an enemy closer to you, right or left, nearly all the rockets will just veer to the closest enemy. Tracking is insane compared to what it was before. I got the Warcliffe Coil, I got the Sturm, I got the Merciless, all from Prestige Nightfalls. And what I found worked for me for getting these exotic catalysts. And it's the same as, and I'll show it off a little bit better in, in another video, as getting high score run. So I'll talk about that later on. Uh, the Merciless obviously massively increases the range, massively in increases the stability. It will get, it will be uh, handling, sorry. It will be, it will be something that uh, that I use in a future vid, a future stability, not handling. I'm an idiot. It will be something that I use in a future nightfall run. Uh, ve very good. Ve it really increases that that kind of. It really increases the the efficiency of that weapon. And the world line zero, I dropped on patrol. And for anybody that doesn't know how to do this, you have to get hits that register on uh, Wave 7 bosses of Escalation Protocol. So that's my Escalation Protocol farming method. That's some of the catalysts. That's the Storm Catalyst. I wish you wish you luck in getting it, guys. And I've just put this little thing in at the end. It's something I've had lying about for quite some time. Uh, I've done it. I think the week it come out and I just didn't see the point in putting it in the video. So I wanted to have a couple of minutes at the end of this video just to thank everybody who's been following the channel. The growth of the channel over the past couple of weeks. Now people might look at the growth of the channel but I never expected to get over 200 subs. This is just something I do to help people and show people how to do stuff. And I haven't been maximizing uh, the help that I can give. Especially to the subscribers, but as the channel's grown, it's put it's pushing me to do more, to do more how tos and more help videos, and so this week what we've got coming is I've got a warlock run, a warlock prestige nightfall run, which is a two phase. I've actually got one that's very close to a one phase. I've got, and in the video I actually drop the nightfall specific reward, which I have dropped the last three, and I have a method I think that is really good for dropping the nightfall rewards. And it's the same method I'm using to drop the catalysts from the strikes, which will drop in the Prestige Nightfall. So that's coming out. Uh, the Warlock runs really good. I almost one-phased the boss. He had nothing left when he landed at the second platform. I have a high score run. How to get the high score run on this week's Nightfall. That will be coming out. And I've got quite a few other videos planned for the, the coming weeks. I'll be doing a Nightfall uh, high score tutorial every week. Uh, I haven't done one yet because I think I've spoke about it in some videos. I've had a lot going on personally, but it's kind of starting to even out a little bit now. So hopefully the videos are going to come at a better regular, you know, more regular. This is the video I've been talking about that I'm going to release, and I'm glad it, I'm glad I never released it last Sunday because I obviously got the Storm Catalyst. And uh, that's about it, guys. It's just, just thank you very much for supporting the videos. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to leave it a like. If you've got any questions, if there's any comments, any any content you would like to see, any questions about the content, don't hesitate to leave a comment at the end of the video. Don't forget to uh, add me and follow me on Twitter. We've got the Facebook page if you want to start up conversations about something or you want to get some help on something. There are multiple ways to contact me. Thank you very much, guys, for supporting the content. I hope you guys stick around because September is going to be a great time. Lots of content and Age of Triumph. The Triumphs are going to be is going to be a good time as well. So until the Warlock run, guys, which hopefully will be out tomorrow, take care of yourselves. I hope this helped, and I will see you guys in the next video.